A 50-year-old woman is undergoing a superficial parotidectomy for a pleomorphic adenoma. During the dissection of the parotid, which of the following structure will be encountered lying most superficially? External carotid artery, occipital artery, maxillary artery, retromandibular vein, facial nerve. Try to think about the most superficial structure on the parotid gland. That will be the answer. The answer is facial nerve. The facial nerve is the most superficial structure in the parotid gland. Slightly deeper to this lies the retromandibular vein with the arterial layer lying most deeply. Now let's talk about the parotid gland anatomy in a very short concept. Anatomy of the parotid gland. Its location is overlying the mandibular ramus, anterior and inferior to the ear. Salivary duct crosses the masseter, pierces the buccinator and drains adjacent to the upper second molar tooth. The name of the duct is also called Stenson's duct. Structure passing through the gland, which is important for MCQ in different exams. Facial nerve, the branches are zygomatic, buccal, mandibular and cervical. External carotid artery, retromandibular vein, auriculotemporal nerve. In a separate video, we will talk about its relation. The arterial supply is branches of external carotid artery, venous drainage, retromandibular vein, lymphatic drainage goes to deep cervical node, nerve innervation, parasympathetic secretomotor, sympathetic superior cervical ganglia, sensory via greater auricular nerve. Parasympathetic stimulation produces water-rich serous saliva and sympathetic stimulation leads to production of a low-volume enzyme-rich saliva. If the video was useful, please subscribe to our channel.